Welcome to a new tutorial. Today I show you how to create a world select UI with unlock function. So that the player have to finish a world before he can enter into a new world. Alright, the first thing we do is we give this world another name. We have 2D world and we name it now world number one. We have everything clean and then with D we duplicate this world. And then with right click, we add a new UI screen. And then we name this UI World 1 Complete. We add another one. Place it here and name this UI World Select. And then we cut the connection from Main Menu UI and World 1 UI, Play button and connect it with the World Select UI. Let's get in there and now we add a new navigation button there. And name it World 1. Now we connect it with World 1. You can cut this. and connect it. And then in World Select we're adding a button for World 2. But now we add a lock button because the World 2 is locked and to unlock it we have to complete world number one. So we go here into unlock, it's okay, default, destination is scene, world is world 2. But at first we have to name it world 2, our duplicated world. And let's get back. And here it is. Scene is always the start scene. Lock button, we name it World 2. Now we connect World 2 with the World Select UI. And then in World 1, We create an object to finish this world. Usually at the end of the world in the last scene, but only to show you, we place it here. And we go to a set library. And we're adding a new rectangle. Add to library and when it's ready, we can use it. Let's go back. And this is our rectangle and we place it here. Make it really big so that our character can't fail it. Let's 
and we go to edit notes on actions we add an if collide node connect enable from if collide with collide at the start scene and we need a event observer and we connect if collide with the event and menu jump and name it next and we don't have to see this object because it's only the character collides and the world is finished so we can make it invisible but at first let's check the collision shape and it's okay and then we go in and the animation here and the opacity we turn down in zero okay now we see it but in the game we don't see it when we play the game then we connect world one next with world one complete And then in world 1 complete, we need an unlock logic piece. Unlock type is unlock button, that's okay. And object is world 2. So when we finish world 1, the world 1 complete UI knows, aha, uh -huh, we have finished this world and unlock now world 2 and now in world select let's tune it up give it a nice background we can use this one And shrink it down a little bit to match the full screen <clears throat> and this is the world one button let's give it an image and we can use this island and then with right click we bring it in front scale it down a little bit more zero point five zero point three And world 2 we select also an image and we can use this one scale it down bring it in front Here we can choose 0 0.15. World 1 we can change a little bit. Okay. And as long we don't have finished the world 1, we can't enter into the world 2. And so we can use a lock image here that it shows we have to unlock at first. You can also use a lock image when the image is selected or an image when the image is selected. Okay, now use only a locked image. Drop it in here and when we play the game we can see it. Let's give it a try. 
And look there, World 2 is locked. First we have to finish World 1. Okay. And here, for example, at image selected, when se the world is open and you select the image, for example, you can play any animation like that, like birds are flying or something like that. And same thing with the locked image. Locked image, you can use, for example, the same image when the world is open, only to show you, ah, okay, so it looks there. When I have finished world number one, then this is world two, okay? And then in World 1 Complete, we need a navigation button. When we have, so we, when we have finished the World 1, then we can come back to the World Select UI. And we name it Start. Now we connect the output with the input from the world select UI. And now I make some changes in world 2 so that it looks a little bit different. Right, and we have to make a little change in world 1 at the rectangle. Just have to change the physics from none into static. And the affected asset is the character. And let's give it a try. And world 2 is locked, first we have to finish world 1 and let's give it a try. Now we have contact with the rectangle to finish the world, you see something happens but we can't continue. And the reason is because we can't see the button here. Okay, the button is somewhere because we have no image there. Let's change this and let's make it easy, we go to world 1 complete. No, let's do it. Let's do this. Go to main menu, UI and copy. Control C, copy this button. Back to world 1 complete. We delete the navigation button to start. And with control V, let's bring it there. Now we have this play button here. Same style. We don't have to change anything. Go back, it's already connected, we can change the name just into start. See it's correctly and give it a try. And look there, now it works. We click the button, we go back to World Select UI and World 2 is open now. And everything works correctly. And the same thing you have to do with all the other worlds in your game, okay? If you found this tutorial was helpful, then give it a like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.